Python supports functions and so we can define a function let's say add x and y and which will return x plus y so now we could have a variable here let's say um, k which is the sum of 3 and 5 and then print k so this is our function and we call the function here and then store the output so run it you'll see it's 7 now the variable we can also name it x here and this will be another x than this x because the x in here is only known inside the function so we can also name this x which is then another x so this concept is known as scope so would be the same now a function can do do anything so you can make it say something and it can be multiple lines so you can maybe make some some drawing or something it can be several lines so you can make it draw a tree or whatever you want so if you call the function it will draw a tree um, to the screen of course you have to call it like this so there we go draws a tree or arrow to the screen so functions can are defined like this and can be called like this now that's just basic function um, you can also have functions that do more complicated things or um, functions to do to other things so let's say you would have an, a car and you have a function drive so um, you could call driving and of course driving has several steps in it so you could have another function um, start engine and from this function you can call this function and you can have several functions So now this function will call two other functions in this order. So it goes top down. So if it's called drive, you'll see it calls the other functions as shown there. Now so functions have a scope and if you were to have a function called setx and and we have a function a variable x here called function setx with some number you'll see that x is 3 so it takes the argument here ignores the x here completely and uses the x that was given in the parameter so x is only known within the function scope if you want a variable that is global you would have to define it on top and then you'll say global x and then print now it's generally not recommended to have global variables and just use parameters instead now variables functions can also take lists as input so let's say we have a, um, a list that 
as input so a list of students and we'll simply print each student and you can define a list of students okay and call the function let's name this uh, list and you'll see instead of a simple variable we take a list as input in the function and it will output um, nothing because we should go over the list and if you run it you'll see the students names so functions can take any kind of variable and they can take multiple variables as well now to save the, the output you always have to use the return uh, words so if you have some um, some function first name last name uh, and you want to to save the output you know that the variable s is only known in this function so you'd have to return it and So in this way variable s is returned, the output is stored in the name and shown. So if you run it, you'll see the output. Let's go into modules. So, so these are import modules, which is like a package of code. So let's say we import the mod module, then we can call the sin function, which let's take this n of one you'll see the output here but we didn't define the function ourselves we simply used the module and so you can have seal or different functions whichever exists in the um, in the method um, And um, for example, you could have the maximum of some numbers, and okay, I think there's a max. Okay, there's no max function in here. So if you simply press the dot, you'll see all the functions available in this um, module. So let's take the square root of 16 and run it you'll see it's four and so that's how you'd use a function now you can also import a specific function if you don't want to import everything you can just import one function and then call it like this so that will also work if you only want specific functions and of course you can import several functions also and now to see all functions available you can also use this trick and this actually in terminal um, should show you the functions available so there you go so all the functions but because we use Visual Studio Code, we can simply type the dot here and see which methods or functions are available in this module. Now, of course, mod is not the only module. You have a wide variety of models. So you could have the OS module and you'll see different uh, operating system functions here. So you can execute something and get the current directory or stop something and there's all kind of modules so you can have a time module which has 
different methods also returns the current time or set the time and so on so that's how you use modules in, in Python <laughs>